What's up Model Brats, it's Pritchlow here and welcome to part 1 of my new remaking series called What if Naruto had the gamer's ability. Now I kind of made a 5 part of series for it which uh, I got like 1200 views totally by adding all the 5 videos views. But yeah I decided to remake it because number 1 I as I said in my like previous remake that being what if Goku married Android 18 I was an I was an inexperienced shit so uh, I didn't currently make it and plus it was kind of like a fan fiction so there were many dialogues which were not even needed for a what if so I decided to completely remake the damn thing instead of well uh, putting a part 6 because game or not has been on my mind for a couple of days now so I just decided like why not make a, a series about it and when I went to my uh, video section to look about it I realized that I made like 5 videos about it and after seeing the first video like 10 minutes ago I, f I found it disgusting so I decided to remake it and this is that remake so I'm gonna be still including like talks like the whole talking thing but that's gonna be more uh, more important stuff instead of like blabbering things about hey, hey how are you or hey how do you do instead of talking things like that I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be in making characters interact much more by telling by like telling them to talk or something but yeah but also uh, this what if is gonna be kind of an emotional course called uh, roller coaster for Naruto as well as his team and the other supporting characters of the Naruto franchise. And I'm not gonna like ignore everyone. I'm gonna be like having a small small arc for each of them. There's gonna be like 10 second arc for uh, for example Kiba, what he does after this thing happened. I'm just gonna go through it uh, each character like specifically what happened after a particular arc which has impacted their life in more ways than one. This is gonna be happening. So spoiler alert for that. But yeah. Anyways, I have blabbered a lot. Guys, uh, wear your seatbelts on, get ready for the roller coaster. So, without any further ado, let's get watching. <laughs> So our uh, story would start off uh, during the first episode or manga episode, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, the first instance of we, uh, we, hum, we knowing Naruto, where he steals the scroll of sealing from the Hokage Tower after uh, using the sexy jutsu on Hiruzen to like knock him out. And due to the fact that Mizuki, the traitor of well, the traitor who was working for Rochimaru, told Naruto to pass the well Genin exam, which he has been failing for like three times. So we're gonna start from that point. So Naruto brings the solo the scroll of sealing to the designated place that uh, Mitsuki told him to, and Naruto deciding why not just look into it and uh, find some cool new jutsus because no Mitsuki never said that he can't look at it. So why not just learn a free jutsu? Now Naruto opens the scroll, but that's when he like scraps his uh, thumb finger across a stone, which kind of makes him bleed. But Naruto is like so used to blood that his uh, it doesn't even phase him. And I don't mean that if, uh, I don't mean that Naruto has been abused. No, I mean like uh, while training, he has like bled a lot. That's why he's like always shouting how hard work is benefit while he didn't really do anything. But I'm gonna like rant about it in a different video, so I'm I'm not gonna like focus about it in this video about the whole rant stuff. But yeah, Naruto doesn't get faced by it, so he t he uh, touches the blood in a particular seal, which I'm gonna be explaining in the later videos, later parts of the of this very kind of awesome series, OP series, whatever you wanna call it. But yeah, that's when Naruto gets in a shock throughout his body, and he get, he gets knocked out. And that's when Hiruzen like it connects to Naruto's ch chakra to find him well sleeping, opening uh, with the sc scrolled open. Hiruzen is confused but decides to like see it. So Naruto wakes up ab about a couple of minutes. That being like two to three, I don't know you think, but yeah, he wakes up a couple of minutes later and just scratches his head, not knowing what the hell happened. But he does know that shock went through his uh, body. For what reason, he does not know and he does not care. 
Naruto has this uh, weird uh, sensation that there's something different about him but since Naruto is well Naruto an idiot who doesn't care he just uh, throws it out of his mind so Naruto like decides to go and like check what jutsu he needs to learn the first jutsu he come across is shadow clone jutsu and he kind of uh, despairs against it because shadow clone jutsu i mean clone jutsu is his weakest jutsu so he wants to know how this is different from that which Naruto doesn't really um, uh, think about it that he thought about this definition how different it is i mean how different the clone and the shadow clone are because can if if you go by the canon storyline naruto never learned about it he just oh it was a jutsu shadow clone jutsu which he couldn't so he just uh, started using hand signs that's all happened during the canon timeline but here naruto's uh, like immediately interested in the like the workings of the jutsu which is well naruto doesn't really find it weird but we know it is fucking weird but yeah naruto then reads what is given and it's interesting so the shadow clone jutsu is uh, shadow clone jutsu is basically a jutsu which divides a chakra into equal parts uh, so if you create a clone your half of your chakra would be divided into that same clone it would be interesting so naruto but there's also something hidden i mean there's a important note that naruto did not miss this time and that is the memory transfer after reading about it it is interesting to know that the shadow clone when dispelled can give the memory back to the user interestingly and seeing the potential in this jutsu you know uh, making uh, seeing that he can train a lot more jutsus with this jutsu and one up sasuke i mean at this point naruto is still in, uh, still in the p- position where he wants to one up sasuke so yeah Naruto uh, would see the skills that being the cross finger uh, you have to f- cross fingers i mean both you have to cross your uh, left and right fingers basically just use a shadow clone symbol i'm not going to like go into explain it and add chakra into it to divide your ha- chakra into half and Naruto does that just that and surprisingly even for Naruto he does it in one shot and there's a clone popped in his well in his left naruto is surprised that he could use shadow clone jutsu so easily then why the hell can't he use well clone jutsu but that's when he notices something interesting or weird for him interesting for us but weird for him there's a blue box in front of him he doesn't know what it is it's a blue box with a blue box with a black uh, title not a title black outline that being you have gained the shadow clone skill now he doesn't know what the hell this is so he like tries to like uh, swipe it out of his face and it does just like uh, shows his hand in front of him th- thinking it's some kind of mosquito or something so he just kind of shows his hand and moves here and there so it like swipes around and naruto seeing that the box is now not there is content and then he decides to well since he has uh, done a jutsu why not go to another jutsu so he looks at it and he finds just the, uh, the jutsu below the shadow clone that being the multi shadow clone jutsu and after reading about it is the same as the shadow clone but well using more chakra and dividing it to much larger people naruto shrugging and also seeing that both jutsus are same but just the implications of it are different and multi shadow clone multi shadow clone is an a rank jutsu while the shadow clone is a b rank jutsu fire notes that is yes multi shadow clone and shadow clone are very much different but i'm not going to go and rant about it but yeah naruto then like does the cross sign again and adds even more uh, chakra to his well already learned jutsu creating six appropriate clones and he starts well he's happy but he kind of feels some uh, effect on it like there's some kind of wave go through his head calming him but come on naruto doesn't know what calm even means so he just thinks it's kind of weird that this weird energy he is uh, feeling in his head and body it's like surrounds him and he feels peaceful if that's a word or something i mean naruto doesn't know what the fuck peaceful me even means because naruto is a fucking illiterate So Naruto again sees a blue box and 
reading it he it says that you have gained my skill multi shadow clone jutsu naruto like scratching the back of his head again like tries to swipe it and it does naruto is confused about what the hell this is first time it happened or the second time is happening he just like again shrugs and goes to the next thing and that's when he sees a jutsu kind of intriguing jutsu but he before he continuing that he tells his clones to well since they are like made why not just go through the scroll of sealing with him to find a couple of jutsus so unintentionally the six clones divided into two part two groups one uh, each uh, each group having three clones and they would come beside naruto to see well what jutsu they need to learn all three of all two groups and uh, original naruto himself goes go through the well scroll and they find on a particular interesting jutsu i mean for the three peop uh, for the two groups and naruto for naruto though he is stuck on a jutsu named flying thunder god technique for some odd reason it just feels familiar to him like he has heard it but he doesn't know where because i think uh, Minato's uh, favorite technique would be known by everyone in Konoha but Naruto being the dumbass he is wouldn't remember it but i think he would be like familiarizing with it or something yeah so yeah he would start like reading about it but there's this thing called kanji so if you guys don't know what kanji is is basically kanji is like a japanese alphabet like letters like a and b but in japanese it's called kanji and uh, naruto needs to learn sealing with the kanjis the the kanjis is given for the appropriate seal if now currently that being that being flying thunder god and naruto doesn't really know anything whatever it means except for one symbol but this thing attracts him like it's meant for him or something not jutsu but this seal or something so he like tries to decode it or something but he only knows one kanji and that is the thing which uh, triggers something another blue box appears in front of his eyes which kind of startles him because he was focusing so intently on so intently on the seal and when he reads it it says you have gained the new skill seal making and after reading this he again scratches his head now he can't just dismiss it again this is the third time it's, it's happened and in naruto standpoint the first time is just an incident the second time is a coincidence and the third time is per, is purposeful so this there's some kind of weird thing going on so he asks his clone that if if he can if they can see this blue box but they shake their head no but instead of asking what it is but the kind of the but the shadow clone know what naruto is talking about because well they are him naruto just uh, scratches his head so he uh, and realizes that only he can see this so he tells his clones to well you could say de de poof or de clone themselves you know poof themselves and the clone do so and naruto gets the memories but it start that thing is just slowly comes into him not even giving him a headache which was warned so it's surprising for him but naruto also notices a new pop up coming skill seal making has leveled to level 5 skill seal making has leveled up to 5 naruto starts blinking F- level 5 is this kind level 5 what the hell so he just like uh, looks back into the flying seal the flying thunder god seal and it's more easier to uh, realize than uh, normally but it's still very hard the naruto realizes that this blue box has something to do with his understanding level about because well the first time when naruto read this uh, whole seal he didn't understand the batch yet now now he can understand a lit- like two to three kanjis Naruto realizing this is a good opportunity to well use shadow clones and this thing leveling up he just uh, sends out more shadow clones like makes for makes 11 shadow clones and the total number of Naruto's are currently 12 and he like, tells them to divide into four, divide into three groups into the four and two clones come to him uh, reading the flying god, flying thunder god technique and while the other four, other uh, two groups that being the uh, that 
I dig I mean yeah the other two groups go towards the respective seals that being the reaper death seal and the eight diagram seal and I know I haven't mentioned the eight diagram seal but the other uh, seal the other group that was like trying to find out the jutsu they came across the eight diagram seal and uh, as I said for the reaper death seal and the flying thunder god seal Narthus clones were like pulled into it, the seal uh, substance of the entire Dejutsu so that's where Naruto starts reading it and that gives him the other needed level so the new group uh, starts redoing the seal like relearning the seals it's kind of difficult but Naruto for every like two minutes he poofs out the clones and he kind of gains uh, well levels for that particular skills every he's getting pop-ups over and over again but he kind of gets annoyed because there's this ding sound coming with it but yeah this pop-up and uh, using shadow clones he's able to instantly realize that it's something different he's able to learn much more easily but that's when another pop-up comes in that being plus one int now Naruto knows what the fuck int is and I'm going to explain what, what the INT is after this, the whole plot ends up. I mean, not the whole story, but yeah, I'm going to explain it later. So Naruto just blinks. He doesn't know what it is. So he's just going to like swipe it like he always does. I mean, for he's doing like a couple of minutes ago. And Naruto then makes like clones, poofs it up, makes again clones, poofs it up. He's like continuing this process again and again and again. And uh, the uh, seal making skill I, he thinks that is called a skill or the jutsu that he has this well box that is naming the seal making thing skill is leveling up quite tremendously it's going to level 20 level 30 level 40 and all the way to level 38 in a span of two hours and all at a span of uh, all at a span of some uh, two hours he has grown at the level of uh, grown at the level to 78 and Narthos also I received another pop-up and that being you have learned the flying thunder god skill Narto blinks and kind of uh, imaginally dances but then another calm wave comes through him and Narto kind of realizes this this is like the third time it has come this calm wave has come through him it kind of calms him I, he thinks it kind of calms him he doesn't know if it is true or not it's just like a speculation like he's been doing with the seal, the seal making skill is, is this like a speculation he doesn't know what the hell is going on but everything is speculation and theory in his mind and also in this two hours he has been getting proper messages for INT and WIS now he doesn't know what the hell WIS is as well as INT is so INT he gained up around to 11 11 points he just like the dismisses them as points like like differentiates them as points like the plus one thingy he just differentiates them as points so after the first time he got the int points he has gotten 11 more of them and the intelligence he has gone seven more of them i mean he has gone the seven more of them for the first time and after two hours north feels different more smarter and more calmer if he wants to stay but he knows that something is happening this blue box um, changing him but maybe for the better i mean come on he can he like completely decoded and he doesn't know why the hell he's saying this complicated word decoded because he never said it in his entire life so anyways he's completely decoded this whole yeah he's completely decoded the seal like these three seals that being the flight under god technique the reaper death seal and the eight diagram seal now he does wonder why he didn't get the skills for eight diagrams and the reaper death seal but he doesn't pull it over it hell he doesn't even know what the hell this skill thing means even so he decides to like after getting graduated he's gonna like uh, research like think and try what it is he's gonna like research about it but that's when some rumble effects and he turns around and he finds Iruka now at this point uh, Mizuki has like told everyone that Naruto has the, Naruto scroll this Naruto has stole the scroll of sealing and like for half an hour 
Hiruzen is weirded out by what Naruto is doing, you know. It's like he's uh, using Shadow Clone but poofing them out and uh, like reusing them again and again. Hiruzen realizes that Naruto has learned the ability to, well, uh, ability of the Shadow Clone, that being to learn memory, which kind of surprises Hiruzen because he didn't think Naruto was a person who would read. He thought Naruto was dumb as fuck. I mean, yeah, I mean, even if he's the Hokage, he knows Naruto's true nature. So it kind of gives him surprise, but it's good for Naruto, but it's not that much. But anyways, Mizuki, uh, as I said, Iruka comes in and asks Naruto what the hell he's doing. Naruto just raises his eyebrow because he thought Mizuki was the one who, uh, Mizuki was the one who made the test. So why the hell Iruka is coming? And he asks the question because Mizuki was the one who told him about this secret test. So is Iruka and Anand the invigilator or something? And after asking this, Iruka quickly realizes what the hell is going on. But that's when a kunai showers it. Kunai uh, gets uh, showered upon them. Iruka quickly uh, jumps in front of Nato and pushes him away, getting like stabbed uh, in the kunai uh, in the thigh once. And then that's when Mizuki comes in. And now uh, Iruka and Mizuki have a great battle about uh, Mizuki being a traitor and Iruka, uh, Mi- Mizuki wanting to kill Iruka. And Naruto is just confused, but he can also understand what the hell is going on. So basically, he realized that Mizuki tricked him into sk- stealing the scroll of sealing, and Iruka doesn't want that to happen. And Iruka is warning him to not give him the scroll of sealing because it contains secrets. But that's when Mizuki chimes in, saying about something that Naruto quite honestly wants, because he wants to know. And that is the secret that has been hidden from him and the rule made by the third Hokage to not, uh, to not tell anyone, especially him. After hearing this, Naruto is shocked, a rule, a secret that is hidden from him. So him being the curious guy that he is, asks uh, Mizuki what this is. But he sees, Naruto sees um, Iruka doing everything he can to tell Mizuki that it's forbidden. Especially against, uh, especially uh, looking at Naruto kind of fearly. He doesn't know what this emotion is, but he is like fearful or something. But he's, he's fully confused about why Iruka doesn't want Naruto to learn about the secret. He doesn't know what the hell is going on. Why the hell does Iruka doesn't want Naruto to learn about the secret? Number one. Number two, why the hell Gigi even made a law about not knowing about the secret? And his questions are answered by Mizuki telling him about the night what happened in the uh, 13 years ago. About how about how fourth Hokage sacrificed his life to seal the cube inside a baby boy and make him the QP, that being Naruto. And Naruto's world is shattered. His gear, there's another calm uh, wave go through him, but he starts freaking out. Holy shit. He, he's the QB? He's the QB, but another wave starts calming him down forcefully at this point. But Naruto calms down and he looks at Mizuki wanting to know what is happening and like seeing it. But that's when he sees Mizuki throwing a shuriken, a big ass one at that, towards him. Naruto like instinctively dodges and uh, Mizuki, that's when, uh, Mizuki that's when says that it must be the demon's work about how demons have instincts. Naruto thinks about it. Demon. He is the demon. So what the hell? Now another calm draught goes through him and he like revises what Mizuki said to him. The fourth Hokage sealed the QB inside a kid. He realizes it instantly. The fourth Hokage used the Reaper Death Seal to seal uh, the QB inside North and as well as use the uh, 8 diagrams to completely lock it out. And that gives the uh, Naruto the uh, like boost he needed to snap out of his weird out state where he where his like uh, not weird out but self-loathing state. Naruto looks at Mizuki staring him down, but that's when a pop-up comes in. But Naruto does not care. He does not care. He is not gonna care. It's not, he will uh, look at this later after dealing with Mizuki. 
Nato walks to the shuriken that is being embedded to the ground, the big ass shuriken. Nato yanks it out, uh, runs a couple of steps and then jumps towards it. Mizuki takes some kunai thinking Nato is going to attack. But that's when Nato does a f- see a familiar hand sign that both Iruka and uh, Mizuki know. Iruka thinking Nato can't do it, shows at Nato to not do it. But Nato heaves in no mind. His mind is a freaking mess. He needs to deal with it. And how he's going to deal with it? Beating the shit, absolute living shit out to Mizuki. And he didn't, uh, as I said, he doesn't know the complete implications of Shadow Clone yet. So he, uh, and uh, Mizuki is, well, thinking Naruto is not going to do it. So he decides to taunt him, saying how a demon cannot do clone, I can't jutsu. That indicates his way of not do, not able to do bunshin. This angers Naruto, but another wave calms him down and he shouts, Mighty Shadow Clone Jutsu! With the big ass shuriken in his hand. And Naruto, well, makes thousands of shadow clones all in the air, staring at Mizuki right in the eye and Mizuki is scared and that's when all of the clones as well as original Naruto use the same movement take the shuriken out of Naruto's hand one of Naruto's hand and all of them stretch back their limbs and throw at Mizuki at full force now Mizuki realizing what the hell is going to happen tries to use substitution but the fear of Naruto using like Thousand shadow clones, as well as add, and adding to the fear that now there's this thousand sh- uh, big ass shurikens coming towards him, freezes him, causing Mizuki uh, not being able to use the substitution jutsu or whatever jutsu he had in mind to escape. Yeah, Mizuki is not able to use it and he's pierced in every single part. Honestly, I don't want to go gory over here, but basically, in small definition, Mizuki's head is cut off, hand is cut off, uh, leg is cut off, fingers are cut off, everything is cut off. He's like slashed into like 50 pieces or something. And all the pieces fall down with Naruto poofing himself. All the clones poofing themselves, gaining it back to Naruto, and Naruto gets more pop ups, but Naruto ain't a guy who cares. He lands down and stares at Mizuki's dead body. He, f- he gets internal panicking, thinking he's the monster that Mizuki told him he was. But another calm rod comes in. And Naruto rea- is, able to think to, is able to think calmly and de- realizes that Mizuki was going to kill him. And well, it was self-defense. So Naruto uh, releases a breath that he wasn't holding. And then he turns to Iruka. And Naruto says at Iruka. And Iruka realizing if he doesn't say anything, it's going to be trouble. He tries to talk to Naruto, but Naruto cuts him off saying, you knew. And Iruka tries to like uh, uh, make a defense against him saying, Naruto, I... But Naruto again cuts him off and says, you knew, didn't you? You knew all this time. Iruka looks at Naruto. Uh, uh, Naruto who was always happy. Versus this Naruto, a person who is not even showing any, any ounce of emotion. Iruka, n- n- not trusting his own voice, just dumbly nods. Naruto looks at Iruka, stares at him. After a couple of seconds, Naruto just turns and walks towards the scroll of ceiling. Iruka, thinking Naruto is going to do something, uh, well, like stealing it, kind of uh, like. Uh, uh, like tenses his muscles and Naruto sees this realizing that Iruka doesn't trust him and this breaks him and it kind of uh, go, makes him go to cry but another calm uh, a wave goes through him Naruto is actually thankful for this calm wave mm, Naruto is actually thankful for this calm wave making sure that he does not freak out because he would have freaking out and that means he would have died when Mizuki would have like thrown a kunai at him. And this all pop-up scenes, he's gonna read it while going to the Hokage Tower. So he pick up, picks up the scroll of ceiling and starts a long trek to the Hokage Tower. He doesn't run, he doesn't walk, he doesn't like speed up walking, he just walks at a small pace. And Iruka is just behind him. Iruka tries to talk to Naruto but Naruto just 
turns him and looks at him daring him in the look daring him to even speak a word and this intimidates uh, iruka to well shutting up and the entire walk back the anbu uh, well come to the scene and see well 50 pieces of iruka here and there and with a uh, shuriken there they like collect you know, mizuki's body and bring him back to the kage and report to them and hokage seeing this all ever seeing this all realizes that naruto is kind of in a mental state he he makes he needs uh, i mean hokage needs to make sure naruto's mental state is okay if by any chance naruto uh, rages out it's gonna be well disastrous but he, uh, hirozen also knows that naruto hasn't freaking out he's just calmly walking towards the whole uh, hokage monument and hirozen waits for it he does a, he knows this this talk would be inevitable he want he didn't want naruto to know just yet he wanted naruto to know when he was chunin or something and after the understanding of seals and stuff but this was way too early in hirozen's book but now that the now that the cats has spilled out of the bag he needs to make sure that naruto is mentally stable if not well it would be the end of konoha i mean hirozen thinks hirozen doesn't believe himself that he's strong enough to stop the kyuubi's rampage so he waits for naruto and naruto's walking he doesn't know what to do he so he wants to, his mind to be distracted so he decides to well look at the information that uh, the pop ups that has been given to him so naruto and the entire view the entire scene the entire ground was black and naruto is the only one who was able to stand it and there's this big box in front of him uh, he uh, realizing this he looks at uh, the box confused and seeing uh, iruka and mizuki just standing there he doesn't know what the hell is going on and maybe this box is the answer so he reads the box it is the title is being named main quest and when he reads the quest it says find the traitor i mean catch the traitor bonus rewards question mark question mark question mark rewards experience 1200 accept decline now naruto knows what the hell is going on but he does know one thing accept or decline accept is basically accepting whatever this is and declining is declining whatever this is and naruto well confused as hell and kind of inst- like uh subconsciously realizing that if he doesn't accept or decline the world is going to be stayed this black uh like this black and white like a still force like the time has stopped or something so naruto just scratches his head like and looks at it why not accept it so he just presses the accept button and then the world returns to normal while mizuki so naruto st- as i said naruto wants to distract himself so he looks at the pop ups that have come in first is the mission pop up that he has got he looks at it and uh, he realizes that the the box has been said that the mission has been completed bonus rewards was learn about the cube inside of you not the blinks so the system knows about the cube inside of me this box knows about the cube inside of me not to you know like uh, scrunches his eyebrows but in, that's just internally outside he is having a passive look a really passive look but yes not to like thinking all of this internally because he, he doesn't want to like freak out and think about any of the stuff so yeah the next box he sees is an xp box it says xp 2000 received due to the fact that you killed mizuki then nada just blinks at this and realizes that killing other people can give xp huh interesting maybe he he just falls it somewhere now he also notices that the uh, he still calm about the fact that uh, mizuki had the death but he thanks the wave that uh, like surrounds him whenever he like gets over emotional or something so yeah the next would be an in int thing it would be plus 
2 i and t and plus 2 w i s and Naruto still don't know what it is just like like swipes it out he doesn't swipe it out he just mentally thinks to like end it and which does which kind of surprises him and he like puts it back to his mind so he can like he doesn't need to touch it like a stupid maniac or something because only he can see this as expected by the shara clones but yeah then he sees the message just uh, while staring at it which he ignored at the first time it has it says new skill observe has been unlocked Naruto blinks at this and observe now uh, uh, when he says this the the tree in front of him which Naruto was like unintentionally staring at while walking he just um, at that place a box comes in and it says tree description a tree Naruto just blinks and realizes something holy shit the observe this observe thing can give uh, introductions or something so Naruto wants to test it out and the best person he could test it out is a human and he I don't know he can't he couldn't test it out and he doesn't know how to so he decides to just try it on something else and what should he try it on that's when he remembers someone coming behind him so he slowly turns his head to look at Iruka he still does not know what the hell uh, Iruka is meaning he completely is betrayed by Iruka he's feeling angry but this uh, wave of energy like completely encloses, encloses him and makes him calm and he again thanks him for the energy Iruka while seeing Naruto looking at him kind of gets stiff and Naruto seeing this again again his heart breaks but Naruto uh, with the calm aura around him and calming him he uh, just whispers observe, observe and there's this bar, bar there's again a box comes in so he turns his head back and the box it comes in front of him which is good for Naruto because he doesn't want to stare at Iruka uh, he doesn't want to look at Iruka right now so he looks at Iruka's stats well there's a name that being Iruka there's a title that being in instructor there's a rank that being Chunin and there's a stats there's a bracket called stats which has different stats there are total of the total of stats which are strength or str which Naruto decides it's the strength or something dex he doesn't know what the hell that is bite vit he thinks it's like a health or something vitality maybe that's it int he realizes that it's called intelligence which is good for him because he finally realized what int means wis he still doesn't know what the hell that is then is cha which he doesn't know what that is then lck he realizes that is luck so there are a total of seven stats boxes uh, given in it and each have numbers given to it Iruka has uh, numbers given to it and there's a description named bio an interesting one not interesting but yeah the, the bio says that Iruka is a Chunin who became an instructor after his, after, uh, his parents were killed by the nine tails and that's it now, Naruto kind of feels sad for Iruka but that does not mean that he's going to forgive him he's in, still in a turmoil right now so Naruto like realizing this that's when another pop-up comes in it says observe has been leveled up to two Naruto just doesn't know what the hell this level up even means because at that time the games haven't been invented because the games were invented in the Boruto era so yeah the previous era the Naruto era never had games so I'm going to make Naruto clueless and he's going to like figure out his ability as the time goes on. So I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to like figure out, uh, Naruto is going to figure out the abilities as time goes on. So he's, he's not going to have an excess uh, like knowledge about video games. So yeah, Naruto like uh, after seeing this like closes both the boxes and then the, he sees this. Another thing, that being a new skill, skill, Shadow Clone Shuriken. Has been unlocked shuriken shadow clone has been unlocked not shadow clone shuriken but shuriken shadow clone Naruto blinks he, he doesn't know this technique that's when he realizes so he used the shadow clone in conjunction to the shuriken the big ass shuriken that he had and it gave him 
this skill and also there's another box that being kuna and shuriken techniques narto looks at it he just the things that it is a uh, 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 percentage uh, he doesn't know what it is and he's going to find out but since there's no pop up in his screen right in his face right now he realizes that he's halfway through the well walking stage he's just halfway through the hokage tower now he realizes that he needs to think about what he needs to do and the information that is given to him in a couple of hours he's not going to think about the system right now because that's not really important and plus he doesn't know the uh, system's named system so uh narto just calls it the blue box which is invisible so narto just calls it the invisible blue box but yeah he's not going to think about it he's going to like think about it after everything is over so he starts walking towards the hokage tower a little faster alyoka again following him and uh, walking towards it he uh, you not know, thinks about the information that he has been given to us uh, this in these two hours number 1 the reason why the villagers hate him is because he has a cube seal inside of him by the fourth hokage the same person he admires now he doesn't know how the hell he would feel about that and so he like pushes it aside he needs to focus on the main thing how he feels about the hokage is like afterwards the main thing is that iruka the hokage and all, all the other people uh, from what musiki told him knew about his secret except for him who had the damn beast seal inside of him never knew but the other people who do, do, do not have any do not have even any connection to him knew about this now that pisses narto off but again the kamora comes in and he again thanks that kamora so so he, as i said he thinks about this information number one hiruka does did lie to him not in his face but he lied for all these years he lied to him and now iruka doesn't even trust him so when as i said before when uh, narada was going to pick up the scroll of sealing iruka was iruka tense his muscle as he was going to be ready for battle seeing this narada's heart broke and he realized that iruka doesn't trust him he thought iruka trusted him but now he realized that iruka does not trust him so why the hell is uh, iruka like uh, if iruka didn't trust naruto then why the hell did he uh, well you could say why the hell did he treat him nicely that's the question is uh, arounding in his mind but naruto then that's when naruto goes to his gigi that person he, no not gigi he's not going to call him gigi anymore that person lied to him in front of his fucking face for over 10 years that's not going to be handled very lightly this man this old freaking man has been lying to him for over 10 years he wouldn't put a he wouldn't put heroin past himself that heroin might know who his parents were because whenever he asked heroin he could see that heroin knew something but lied and naruto realizing that if he asked it again and again he might lose heroin's acknowledgement Uh, that's why he he reason I mean Naruto stopped uh, asking it but now he does not care about Hiroshi's uh, acknowledgement when the damn person has lied to him for over 10 years no but that does explain why uh, the hokage kind of favored him more than any other often child is because he wanted to make sure that the QB never went away because he knew about the fact that um, if i went to uh, berserk uh there uh, there could be no one to stop him because the fourth okage had to sacrifice his life to seal the qb and that was sealing oh that's why the whole the third okage is old so he does not know if he can do what the third okage what the fourth okage did meaning no uh, uh, hiruzen kept an eye on him while treating him like a, oh my god hiruzen was manipulating him that's the conclusion naruto comes with but it's kind of yes and wrong i'll explain what it is but then he uh, like remembers every time he has met uh, like talked and met with hiruzen and the first time he has uh, dreamed the dream that he had to become hokage that was suggested by hiruzen 
and this event further uh, confirms the fact that Hiruzen has been manipulating him. I mean, it's common sense. Uh, Hiruzen wouldn't want Naruto to well go out of the village, you know. So he would want some kind of dream to Naruto, and that is the dream being the Hokage. And Naruto realizes something. If Mizuki didn't tell him. Uh, Hiruzen wouldn't have told him and Hiruzen, uh, Naruto would be still in Hiruzen's thumb of manipulation. So Naruto is kind of pissed, he's pissed, royally pissed, he's fucking livid but again the calm energy comes around him and he realizes that he needs to deal with the whole situation and he's going there. So he finally reaches the Hokage's tower, he climbs up the stairs and opens the door to the Hokage's room. He's, he slowly walks up to the Hokage's uh, chair and gives him gives the scroll of sealing and tells that the traitor who had who had manipulated him, especially he manipulates uh, yeah who had manipulated him is dead and the scroll of sealing is with you Hokage Sama. This completely destroys. Uh, this completely shocks Iruka. Hiruzen and all the other armbo that are stationed uh, with Hiruzen right now. As far as everyone knew about Naruto, Naruto wasn't the one to give respects, even to the Hokage. But now, giving uh, Hiruzen the respect that Naruto never gave him, everyone realizes of how serious Naruto is. Hiruzen just like uh, weakly nods and uh, tells one of his armbo to like uh, give the scroll of sealing back. Naruto uh, like walks a couple of minutes and turns uh, back to Hiruzen and asks him one simple question. Why? Hiruzen not understanding this question asks to elaborate and Naruto says, Why have you been lying to me in my freaking face for over 10 years? Hiruzen uh, realizing that if he doesn't handle this correctly, now he could lose Naruto and he's not gonna let uh, his uh, Sagrade Gansen uh, get lost in rage. He's not gonna make. Uh, n- he's not gonna let Naruto become an Orochimaru or become a rogue ninja or something like that. He's gonna make sure that Naruto stays in the village, the home that he has. Hiruzen is so delusional that na- that Naruto is has like made this his home that he doesn't even fathom the fact that Naruto might not even have even considered this his home. I mean, Hiruzen doesn't, but Naruto does consider this home, even if this home hates him. Hiruzen replies that because he wanted to protect him, he had to lie. Naruto blinks. You made a law. No one listened to it. No one fucking did. And here, this cursing word, everyone is shocked. Naruto might be cursing here and there, but in front of the old man, he never did. And Hearing this, they again realized that how uh, dangerous the situation currently is. But Naruto continues, "You never, that law never fucking was useful. Everyone in the damn village gave me hateful stares for ten goddamn years. I've been trying to find out why the hell that has been happening." I asked you so many times, but you always answered with, I don't know, I don't know, but now, because of you, is my life is like this. Now, uh, after ending this, Naruto's like huffing and uh, like after shout, like releasing in, uh, out of the system, Hiruzen, realizing that Naruto's putting all the blame on himself, I mean, all the blame on Hiruzen himself, uh, Hiruzen uh, then tells, he could not stop them. He could not force them to like him. Naruto just, just laughs, a cold, hard laugh. Then he uh, looks at Hiruzen and says, That's what I'm doing. I'm forcing them to like me when they don't. This makes Hiruzen realize how fucked up Naruto really is. How just knowing about the QB completely messed up his mind. Now, Naruto is not messed up. He's thinking clearly straight. He's but Hiruzen thinks that Naruto is messed up right now. Naruto just shakes his head and uh, looks at Hiruzen dead in the eye. Dead in the eye. No, here and there. Dead in the eye. And he says, You have been lying to me. I trusted you. But now I'm not so sure. Naruto slowly turns and starts walking. 
He doesn't want to call, but his voice is in coming around. He realizes that he has lost his uh, segregation forever. But Naruto stops and turns back and looks at Hiruzen again, dead in the eyes, and says, "Since, as per the rules of this village, I have caught a traitor, I deserve to get promoted, don't I?" Now, uh, Hiruzen, hearing this, is kind of. like a 20% elevated but realizes that naruto uh, risk to uh, flee so he just dumbly nods and like opens his drawer and takes a headband and tosses it to naruto naruto just catches it but that's when he sees iruka opening his headband not knowing that uh, hiruzen has tossed uh, naruto his headband naruto just looks at iruka dead in the eye and says iruka don't need to keep your fucking headband to yourself naruto then turns and starts walking Hiru, uh, iruka stops uh, removing his headband midway and after hearing this he realizes that naruto has completely de- uh, pushed uh, iruka away iruka uh, wants to well make up with naruto so he runs after uh, naruto after uh, like bowing to the hokage and he meets naruto uh, who slowly walking to his house he just stops naruto and says naruto i realize how you feel but that's that's where naruto snaps naruto looks at iruka dead in the eye and says you understand you fucking understand how it feels to get hated your entire life you understand how it feels to get uh, how it feels that you don't have parents who love you do you understand that you don't know how uh, your parents lived or how they lived or something you don't know how they died after sure uh, there's no voice increase naruto is just looking at iruka and s- just speaking more calmly iruka realizing uh, he, like comparing his life with naruto was bullet but now Na- but naruto doesn't give him the face of the day and so he slowly walks off to his house iruka realizing that he has lost his little brother forever he thinks i mean iruka doesn't know what is going to happen so he just uh, walks down to a bar and drinks naruto starts walking to his home and hiruzen uh, who is closing his hand and taking a deep breath because he's almost had a panic attack after hearing what naruto said he tells his aunt to leave him alone and they do so grateful because they realize that this situation is fucked up hiruzen realized he has lost his segregate ganshin forever because of his mistakes because he couldn't force himself to be the right hokage that he needed to because he was a coward naruto had to pay just like he was a coward when he could have punished danzo uh, sasuke had to pay because of his cowardness everyone surrounding him has to pay and this finally breaks uh, hiruzen over the edge and he uh, starts crying hiruzen a person who has been holding everything inside of him and uh, naruto well not uh, real Na- and naruto completely uh, well telling hiruzen that he's not his gg anymore completely breaks him and re- and lets the dam flood over now naruto goes to his home opens his door and closes it and that's where we're going to leave for this episode guys now i'm not going to reveal what naruto's stats are in this episode because i'm that's going to be in the next episode and uh, i'm not and the uh, stats would i'm not going to be like for uh, showing i'm not going to be telling the stats all the time so i'm just going to be leaving in the description and i'm going to explain how each stat works and how multiplying each stat would result in what kind of stat increase which i didn't do in my previous what if i mean this stream the previous uh, original what if or what if naruto ha- had the game of powers or what if naruto had the gamer ability whatever you want to call it but i'm going to be calling this what if naruto was the gamer so yeah that's all for this episode guys if you guys like this video like share subscribe do the necessary stuff and if you don't i can understand peace out